Hello, my name is Jenny Yurst, Curator of Collections Management here at the State Historical Society of North Dakota. I wanted to show you one of my favorite objects. I have a lot of favorite objects, as you can probably guess. Um, but this is one I think is really interesting. Um, you know, we have over 80,000 objects in the collection. And people ask us all the time, why don't you have it all on display? Well, with 80,000 objects, that's kind of hard to have it all on display. We would need a building 10 times the size, maybe 100 times the size of the one we have right now to get them all on there. And then there's a few objects, like this one here, that are very delicate and probably won't ever go on display. Um, this canoe, as you can see, is, is a birch bark canoe. And it has a few condition issues, shall we say, large cracks and breaks in it. But this canoe is still very important for us to have in the collection because it is a great research tool. A number of years ago, we had some people coming in who wanted to make authentic birch bark canoes. And so they wanted to look at this one, since it is well over 100 years old. It was made around 1900 to 1909. We're not quite sure exactly when. And they came in here to look at this canoe to see how many pieces of birch bark were used to make this canoe. What size were they? What shape were they? How were they joined together? How many stitches? were used and, and how were they placed, again, to, to join these pieces together. What materials were used in there? What kind of wood was used to make the frame? How are those ribs made? How wide are they? How thick are they? How are they placed in there? All these questions that I would never have even thought about asking, they were looking at it and measuring in great detail so they can make it as authentic of a birch bark canoe as possible. Now these are pretty rare in museum collections. Um, birch bark canoes were only meant to last a few years before they would rot out and they would re get replaced. So to have one that's well over 100 years old in, to, in museum collections is pretty unusual. So this is a great research for tool for anyone interested in making birch bark canoes.